Hello YouTube, today I'm going to do a review of Microsoft's wi Wireless Desktop 3000. So the, it comes with a, a mouse and a keyboard as well. So first of all we're going to look at the positives of the mouse and the keyboard. Then we're going to look at the negatives, the bad si sides of it. Then we're going to see what um, the contents of the box. So we're going to see what comes with the box. Then we're going to see the software. After that, we're going to see how it works on the, com the computer. So first of all, um, let's look at the mouse. So it's a fairly good mouse. Um, one of the major good things about it is the blue track technology. So you can see the blue light over there. So the thing special about this technology is that it uses an optical light, LED light, as well as a laser. So it works practically on all surfaces, um, but it doesn't work on mirror or mirrors or um, glass, plain glass. But I've tried it with very different surfaces. It works on mostly everything. So that's one great thing. Another good thing about the mouse is the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel is very, very smooth. So when you're viewing documents or when you are scrolling through the web pages, it seems almost seamless and it's something it's something brilliant. Another good thing is that you could adjust the sensitivity of the um, scroll wheel from the software that comes with it. So which is one another great thing as well. The, the another good thing is the programmable buttons. So the buttons you see there, um, this is the side to side and this one right there could be programmed so um, with the software that comes with it so you could assign anything that you want but though that um, the assignment is limited by the software so you can make that the middle click and you can make that the middle click something else um, another good thing is that this mouse could be used by a left-handed person as well as a right-hand person with the same comfort so by using the left, left hand, it feels really comfy as well as my right hand. Um, let's look at the keyboard now. One of the great things about the keyboard is there are a lot of optional buttons. If you look at that, um, you see a lot of buttons. So the buttons there are very useful when you're working on a document. The buttons there uh, for music over there as well. These buttons open the things on each hotspot and as you see zoom in and zoom out. These ones are absolutely great. They help you a lot at times. Um, the other good thing is that when you look I don't know if you could see it. Yeah there. So under each key you could see what shortcut you could use when you press control right there. So if you're not very good with shortcuts, this might help you a lot. Um, another great thing with the keyboard is that it has rounded keys. So the keys are rounded through that. So it feels very comfy pressing them. Okay. Now let's look at the negatives. And one of the big things that I don't like about the mouse is that it's huge. So it's not for everyone, people who have a small hand, it's not, um, you might not like this mouse. And it is, when you put it in the batteries, which is a double A battery, two double A's batteries, it becomes very heavy and you might um, get very, get a sore hand, um, you might not like using the mouse for gaming or something like that. Another bad thing is that Sometimes the mouse loses connection with the computer, so the mouse slows down, jitters, and d doesn't respond at times. Um, something, another negative is the scroll wheel. I told you it was good, but for documents and web browsing. So when you're gaming, let's say you're playing COD or Battlefield, and you want to switch a weapon. So usually you scroll down or up. But here, you can't feel when you're scrolling up or down. 
So you don't know when to stop and it's very, it gets very frustrating when you're gaming. Well, another bad thing is the receiver. Well, if, if you're using on desktop, I, I think it doesn't matter much. But when you're using on laptop, Logitech has the small nano receivers, which are much smaller than this and look better as well. Another bad thing is that the mouse is a fingerprint magnet. So I know it doesn't matter for many people, but it does at times. Or something I forgot to tell you is that the keyboard's palm rest is also kind of fingerprint. Well, you can't see a fingerprint magnet, but when you press too hard on the heat, he was palmer, so you could see your fingers um, smudge on it. Um, that's one bad thing. So another thing that you could say is that the escape key is tiny and it's not towards the end of the keyboard. So let's say um, you want to pause the game quickly, just any purposes for the escape key. You would always go, go to the end, but it's not quite there. So that's one bad thing. And the other one is that, um, you know, so the rubber used on the keyboard, when you put, pull these down up and set on the desk, it kind of slips at times, so something not great. Right now on the computer, the mouse feel, feels quite smooth when you're using it. The response sounds pretty good. Um, right here is the um, the software that um, you have to download from the internet to control the mouse. So here you could assign any keys for the left button, the right button, the middle wheel and for the side buttons as well. Um, you can change the pointers and all the other good stuff. Um, now for the things that come in the box with the, the mask. The first thing is the limited warranty um, booklet. So it tells you about warranty in different languages. No point there. Some some registration info, you don't need that I guess. A product guide which is very vague. It doesn't tell you what each and every key on the keyboard does, which I find it hard in the beginning to figure it out. Um, another bad thing about it is that it doesn't come with software in the box. So you have to download them from the internet. Um, Oh, and I forgot to mention that this one's the new keyboard. So if you could see right there, it has the new Windows logo. So it's specially made for Windows 8. And yeah, the Microsoft logo. So thanks for watching, guys. So rate, comment, and subscribe. So tune in for more videos. See ya.